Hello and welcome to Tony and Dee's Kitchen once again. I'm Tony and today I'm going to be doing what I call my uh, uh, vegan ramen noodle stir fry. And so uh, I'm going to be using some fresh vegetables, vegetables that you really like, you can put together and I'll give you a hint on what I use and what you can use with yours. Um, and we're just going to serve this over uh, ramen noodles, but it's not the ramen noodles you think. Uh, today I'll be using ramen noodles. There's different types of noodles that are healthier, like brown rice noodles. And uh, you can do this over brown rice, however you want. But today I'll be doing a noodle that's called a ramen noodle. I get it from Central Market. And it's a brown rice and uh, millet, millet and brown rice ramen noodle. And I get that from Central Market there. And so, and it looks like ramen noodles, the little blocks come in the bag like ramen noodles. So it's pretty cool. So I'll be cooking these up today. Uh, some other noodles that I've used, that I use this Thai version. Uh, this version of uh, brown rice noodles, I've used that. That's a good one to use. I've also used uh, Anchon's My Fun brown rice noodles. Uh, you have options there, what you can use there. And for those of you who don't have noodles, you want to use some rice. This is a brown rice medley, one of my favorite brown rices I get from uh, Trader Joe's. Pretty good stuff. Uh, freaking love this one. <laughs> and so, uh, it's one of my favorite rices. I, it, it just has so much in it. But today I'll be using the noodles here. This is not a real difficult uh, thing to conjure up, really. This is kind of putting together some vegetables, putting a little flavor with them, and serving them over some noodles. But we're going to do a healthier version of the, uh, the vegan ramen noodles. It's going to be a healthier version uh, where we're using uh, brown rice and millet noodles So today. So what I have here is I chopped up some uh, Swiss chard. I've got some spinach in here, and I have some kale in here. And I just kind of have those chopped up in a bowl here. And those are my main ingredients there. You can use whatever greens. Sometimes I use straight kale, but today I have Swiss chard and I have spinach, so I use all three of the greens there. And here uh, I have uh, chopped tomatoes. And that's going to be chopped tomatoes, and I have cauliflower in there with the chopped tomatoes there. And in this dish, I have tomatilla. It's a green tomato. I have that chopped up with uh, about a half an onion there. And I've got about four cloves of garlic in this one. Okay, and on this bowl, I have just chopped red and green bell pepper. Uh, I love those in my dishes. And then this little thing right here, it's chopped up, but I put it in the fruit processor because I like to get these particular vegetables chopped up a little bit more. And so what I have in here, I did this in the food processor and it looks like I just grinded it down, you know, so, so what I have is, uh, this is asparagus, uh, this is mushrooms, and then I have an organic carrot in here also, it's just ground up, it's a white organic carrot that I use in here, uh, and that's in here also, so, but I just like to grind those ingredients down. I like my vegetables, uh, my uh, greens so to speak. Me greens, I love my greens to be a little more leafier when I put them in the stir fry. So uh, what I'm going to get started with on the stir fry is going to be the leafy greens. I'm going to have about three tablespoons of grapeseed oil heated in a skillet. And the reason why I put these in first is because the oil makes the greens cook super duper fast. Uh, I know sometimes when we cook greens back in the day, we put them in a, uh, we kind of boil them for a few hours and, and those things until they're done. But with oil, you can get your greens done in a matter of a few minutes uh, because the oil cooks it super fast. So I'll be showing you that on the stir fry. And uh, we start with these first. I put in my greens first and then I usually put in the, the onion and the tomatillo mix with the garlic there afterwards. Then I add my uh, bell peppers to it, and then I add my uh, chopped or really kind of ground up uh, asparagus, uh, mushrooms, 
and the carrots I have in here. And then this, the tomatoes and the cauliflower I put in last. We're gonna go ahead and take it over to the stove top where I can show you a little bit more how I do my stir fry. Okay, so now I have uh, about three tablespoons of grapeseed oil and my uh, fryer that I'm gonna be using for the stir fry. And that's heating up very well. I've got four cups of spring water over here. I'm gonna bring that to a boil before I add my, uh, my uh, brown rice and millet ramen noodles versions in there. Uh, and I have about, uh, I guess about a fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt that I put in here also. I kind of like to season my noodles up so they're not so bland. So they have a little sea salt in there. And this is a grapeseed oil that I use. And also another ingredient uh, I didn't uh, share with you earlier, I'm gonna put some bouillon cubes in there. These are vegan bouillon cubes. And I love these cubes. The cubes I'll be using today is the ones called Not Chicken. Let's see if we get that in there for you. Okay. And the name of this company is Edward and Sons. And so they have this version, which is the not chicken cubes. They have the garden vegetable version, veggie cubes there. And they have the not beef ones there. So all of these cubes are good to season your stuff up with. They're healthy vegan versions. Instead of using, you know, even with ramen noodles, instead of using the seasoned packet, you can use a healthier bouillon cube. And, uh, so this is what I'll be doing. So what I'll be doing first is I'll be putting the greens in the oil first and let them cook down and then we'll go with the other vegetables. Okay so now it looks like the oil is hot enough. I'll go ahead and start putting the greens in there. I guess it is hot enough. Hot <laughs> just a little bit. I got it a little hotter than what I thought. And my heat, like I said, is between low and medium. I, I never turn this pot up on high. It, it can really cook up things really nice there. So, but in the oil, the greens cook down really fast in the oil. So we got that going. Oh man, we got a good mix. And I also uh, sliced up a few of these, uh, uh, what do you call them, Brussels sprouts. That's just something I add. You don't have to add them in there. But it's just like with your greens, you can add them in to cook with your greens if you like. But I also, I think I chopped some Brussels sprouts up and put them in there too. Because I like them a little finer. But you see your greens kind of cook down in that oil real quick. It doesn't take long for them to cook. And that's why I kind of add them in there first. And, oh, they smell so good, y'all. Mm. It smells like something just right out of the ground, just in the pot so fresh. So... These are cooking well. They're cooking very well. And if you use a spatula, make sure it handles super, super high heat. Like this one's for frying. It handles seriously high temperatures so the oil won't damage the spatula that I'm using here. So as you see, uh, whereas before if you had kale greens and these greens you had to cook, in like a, a pot or something if you boil them in water to cook them you would have to cook them for hours but here in a matter of uh, maybe about three maybe four minutes we have these greens cooked well enough okay so that looks great so now I'm going to go ahead and add in this is the uh, onions uh, green tomato which is tomatilla and this is garlic now I put just a pinch of sea salt on top of it I don't have to add any other seasonings to this really because the bouillon cubes is going to give it all the flavor it really needs. So I add this in there. Go ahead and add all that in there. Okay. And that's starting to cook with the greens. As you see the greens cooked down. That's before the greens were piled up in the pot. Now they're cooked down real good. So, oh, and this smells so good, y'all. Oh. You know, it's something when you start cooking I just recommend you learn to cook things for yourself and not rely on other people all the time because just the aromas from the food just makes you just want to go <laughs> it's just it's a beautiful thing it lifts your spirits 
Uh, to me, it just makes me rejoice in my soul when I smell this food. It's just like, uh, God's beautiful food and nature and natural things are so delicious and they smell so good. It just invites you to a festival of something delicious to eat. So that kind of cooks down a little bit. And we got those in there cooking a little and they're cooking good as you can see and you just kind of mix it in there you know get everything get the vegetables kind of cooked up first oh, and it smells good see how the greens are now the greens look sporadic whereas before <laughs> they fill the pot it's like where did they go they're still in there dude <laughs> they're in there they're, they are there so oh my goodness but this smells so wonderful y'all it just smells like mmm it's like if you if someone had cooked this in front of you, the, the first thing that would come to your mind is that this person really loves me because it smells so healthy and so good. It just, mm, you can just feel the love. See, I cook with love. I always cook with love, y'all. That's, 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 that's what's in my cooking. My wife, she cooks with love. We cook with love in our kitchen. So this is all done in love. And so... I mean, it's just, I just take care of all, everything that I cook. I just, mm, I just believe if it's prepared with love, it seems like your food tastes better when you cook with love. If you're angry and upset, you can't season your food right. It just doesn't come out right. So it's something about that, having love for what you do in this kitchen, that blesses your food to come out so good. So this is a simple stir fry. Now I've got my onions and everything cooked down to pretty much where I want them to be. They don't have to be translucent, but I have them cooked down. They will cook more, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and add in my bell peppers. And those cook in. Now bell peppers, I don't know about you, but I can eat bell peppers raw. So I really don't have to cook my bell peppers as much, but look at the beautiful colors that it added to it. You see that red in there? It's, that's just gorgeous, right? It's just beautiful. So we have beautiful colors in there. And my water over here is about to bring come to a boil. I'm going to add my uh, noodles in there. That's four cups of spring water I have over there. And I'm going to put two of those ramen noodle deals in there in four cups. Uh, so, oh. And this is smelling so good. It makes the whole house smell like heaven. Mm. Oh my goodness. If they can put that in an air freshener, I buy it every day. Okay, so water's come to a boil. Some noodles, uh, some of these, is to let you know, this is like the ramen noodles. Yep, yep, yep. I wash my hands thoroughly. I am an OCD person. I clean everything. Trust me. Me and my wife, we are very clean when it comes to stuff like this and I keep my nails short as you can see in the video I keep my nails short so I keep dirt out of my fingers and everything so uh, we are clean people we believe in washing our hands we old school too and so we believe in touching food in some cases I know some people like to put on gloves but I believe that the love that I have in my body when I touch the food it transfers beauty into the food so it's a beautiful thing my hands are clean so I go ahead and put these noodles in here and I just put two of them in there for four cups of water. I just use two of those. And then, like I said, if you don't have those kind of noodles, you can use brown rice noodles. You can use quinoa noodles. You can use spelt noodles. They have all different types. My wife, she uses, uh, uh, I saw, I showed you the ones that I, I use normally, but my wife, she uses these, uh, I guess you call them penne, penne, ping, penne, however you pronounce it. She uses these noodles. And these are made out of an organic, um, let's see, ingredients is an organic corn flour and organic quinoa flour. So that's what she uses for a lot of her stuff. So to each his own, whatever type of noodles you want or if you want to do rice. So this is cooking very well. Now I'm going to add this in. My grounded parts. All of this, this is a lot, <laughs> but I'll add it in there because I like it all. It's all delicious like. Okay, so 
we get that over and I kind of flip some of this up on top to get some of them parts on the bottom. Okay. Now my noodles over here with these millet noodles, they cook a little, they take a little bit longer to cook. So even when I bring them up to a boil, uh, I have to cook them at, a, at that high temperature for about 10 minutes to be done. It takes a little while for those because they're coarser than most noodles I cook. So this is it. This is coming in pretty well for me. Everything's going to start cooking down very good. Okay. And it does a good job. Mm. And somehow, some, some, some way, that sear that I put on the greens when I first put it in there, somehow those greens taste so much better with that sear on it. I don't know what it is, but oh my goodness. I could just have them by themselves like that, you know, without the rest of these vegetables. But these are good. It's a good filler in this stir fry. It is good. So I'm going to let these cook for a little bit. And my noodles over here are cooking good. And I'll be back. Okay, so now I've had this simmering for about five minutes. And I'm ready to go ahead and put the bouillon cubes in and some other ingredients here. So what I do, is every time I add bouillon cubes, I like to use water to break my bouillon cubes down. So I make a little pond in the middle. And I just go ahead and add, in this case, it's going to be a half cup of water. And I place the two bouillon cubes in there. And just kind of let those things break down. They break down really fast in water. That's why I like using water on the bouillon cubes. As you can see, they're starting to break down already. And it looks like they're already dissolved there. Yep, they're dissolved. So I'll go ahead and kind of stir that around a little bit in there to kind of get the flavors to all the sides there. And with the water, it'll get everything. That's why even though it creates its own juices, I add just that half a cup of water with my bouillon cubes to, to kind of get it everywhere. Okay, now on this one, this is good. If you let this cook for about another simmer for another five minutes, uh, this will be a good stir fry for you to add over your noodles. I have some additional things that I add to it because we're vegan, so I like to have a meatier taste to mine. And so to get that meatier taste to mine, even though I had chopped up those mushrooms real fine with the asparagus and put them in there, I go and add, I add a can of uh, organic, let's see if we can get this in the camera here. Oh, wow, this is organic uh, mushrooms that I add. And the ingredients on this, there's no preservatives. Let's see if I get it over there. Organic uh, mushrooms, water, sea salt, no preservatives, okay. I add a can and I, I've sliced mushrooms and pieces, it's like pieces and stems of mushrooms. I add this can in there because this is going to give me a meatier taste out of it. So I'll go ahead and add a can in there. If you like a meatier taste to your, like you have some meat in there, mushrooms will do that. And I, I have also another thing that will do it. And so um, this is all, if, this is just sliced olives. Okay. So I add my sliced olives in there. Also, and that's going to give you a meaty taste. I mean, some people that eat this, when it's like this, they think you have meat in it. Mushrooms and the olives kind of give it a real nice flavor there. So I add those in there, and I'm, and I'm going to go ahead and add in my uh, red tomato and cauliflower. And there we go.
This comes out really good. It simmers, the cauliflower takes on the color of the bouillon cube there. And everything comes out so well. So I'm just kind of putting everything, stirring it around in there so the new items can, it can get introduced to the flavors. And there you go. Okay, so what I do here is just kind of get that in there a little bit. And I'm going to let that simmer. This is going to simmer for about another five minutes. And after that, it'll be done. We'll be ready to pour over the noodles. In fact, my noodles are ready. So what I do with my noodles, I just kind of take them off the stove. I have a little strainer that I put them in. And I put them in the strainer. And once I put them in the strainer, uh, I just add some cold water to it to uh, stop the cooking process on them and then I put just a tad bit of grapeseed oil in there to kind of oil them up to kind of get them to where they're not sticking to one another as much so this is what's going on here I've got it in here kind of like patty cake patty cake kind of thing and get it going and just let it cook there for a little bit the flavor is going to cook in there it's going to be really good you're going to really enjoy this it looks good so and that's going to go over some noodles and voila, it's going to be something that's kind of quick and easy. You can use whatever vegetables you have. And for, you know, men who like a meatier taste to their stuff without meat, the mushrooms and the black olives really complement it. And it makes you think you're actually eating some kind of meat and get, put some heartiness to it. So we'll, back in, we'll be back in five minutes when this is done. Okay, now it's been about five minutes and... Uh, the vegetables are done so I'll go ahead and turn the heat off on these uh, as you see they simmered very well and I'm ready to add it to my noodles just take a scoop and voila you have your ramen noodles there to your uh, add it to your noodles and it is simply delicious delish delish Yes, I like getting those mushrooms in. I love my tomatoes. This is a really good, delicious dish. So we add it over our noodles and voila, you come up with your ramen noodles. There you go. Something like that. I guess I've moved the plate over here. Let me see where I got it. Okay, all right. I'm trying to get it in the picture there where you can see it. There it is. Okay. And that is a beautiful plate of noodles and vegetables. Uh, a new way of eating your noodles, a ramen noodles, a vegan ramen noodle, a healthy noodle. Uh, you just, mm, the flavors are so good on this. Uh, you don't have to put a whole lot of seasoning on it because the vegetables bring in a lot of flavor themselves. But this is a good alternative to the box ramen noodles that has a lot of unhealthy ingredients in it. But I won't go there too far. I just want to give you a healthy vegan alternative. And there you go. Serve it up. And I hope you enjoy it when you make it. Thank you. Okay, so now, Didi just popped in here. And, you know, when I do my noodles, she, she pops over here like I do with the, black, with the split pea soup. Yes. I do those noodles. She's like, are they ready? Are they done? Are they is ready? ready? Are they is done? it ready? Is it is ready? It ready? Yeah. <laughs> And so, I'll go ahead and let Dee have a first taste and let her tell you what her experience is here. <laughs> can't wait, can't wait. You can't wait, can't wait. I know. Oh. You've been, been on me about getting this thing done, cooked up. So. Mm. Wow, it's Full good. Full flavor, uh huh? I know. Oh, man. And like I say, Dee is the type of person... She, she tastes her food to know what's missing in the seasoning, what has to be. But I'm the type of person, I smell my food. So when I know from the smells of the food, I can talk to her and let her know, hey, it's missing this, you need to put this in there. And she lets you know I do that. That's just from smelling it. I can tell what, what it needs in it. And so oh, I'm man. not the biggest pro on that, but mm -hmm. I can kind of, by smell, tell if something's a little off. Mm -hmm. I can smell it and I know, hey, let's, we need to add this in here. That, that needs to, because to me, the seasonings yeah. have an aroma. And I don't know about you, but if you just take mm -hmm. your seasonings and open a jar and just, just wave them underneath you, they have an aroma. 
So a lot of times when I cook the food, I remember what that aroma smelled like when I opened that jar of seasoning. And so sometimes I, 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 can, I can smell something cooking and I was like, it would be nice if we add this aroma to it, which is re re really a seasoning. And so <laughs> this, this girl over here turned this thing. <laughs> hey girl, you better, <laughs> you better not be eating now. Let, uh, let me give me some, hold on. Cause this smells so good y'all. And these noodles are good. Like I said, I cooked the noodle about 10 minutes, but uh, if you cook a different noodle, just follow the instructions on the packet mm -hmm. and go buy that. But I know in the end, uh, I, uh, when I do drain the noodles, uh, I put cold water on them to stop the cooking process. And then I add a little uh, grapeseed oil into the noodles so they won't be so sticky. They kind of separate and they have that little authentic, professional kind of look to them, I guess. But they come out really good. Well, it's been worth the wait. Oh my God. Mm. It is so good. Oh my goodness. It is good. Oh my. Wow. Let me say it again. It is good. Man. Wow. And it's light. It's flavorful, flavorful but it's light. Oh you don't feel real heavy after you eat it, but you're satisfied. It is really good. And y'all, this is the first time I use that Swiss chard, spinach, kale together. And. Oh, I know I'm feeling some of it. Oh my goodness. Don't spit but, it. <laughs> she mad. She said, don't spit it. I made a mistake. No. I put too much on my spoon. <laughs> He's like, don't spit it. This is the first time I did those ingredients together. And mm. that's funny. I did it for the video. And this turned out to be my best batch of these Roman noodles I've made. They actually, oh my goodness. Work. That's good. Wow. These, oh. Uh, Mm -mm. See, now I know how you make it. Whatever. Whatever. You gonna make something for me? Maybe. Mm. You do it so well. Mm. You see, I cooked those tomatillas early. They give it a little zest that's just... It's like somebody squeezed a little lemon in there, but we didn't. But that tomatilla gives it... Mm. Oh, the green tomato. I may not be saying it right because I think it's a Spanish name. But the green tomato gives it a zest that's just, oh, it's beautiful. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all just sitting here, here watching us eat that. This is some of the best. Mm. Yes. Very good. Now, Very only, good. I can't only talk this tastes so good. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. So you guys have to try this. You really yeah. do. And with the green vegetables that's in it, your body feels like it is really getting nutrients and vitamins. It's just really good. This is my best one. Oh my goodness gracious. Mm. Oh my God, I can't get enough of this. This is ridiculous. How to make this taste so good? Now, now I put all my secret stuff in here. Everybody's gonna know my secrets now. Mmm. Mmm. Well, look, guys, we're gonna let you go. We're gonna let you yeah. uh, try this recipe and enjoy it as much as we have. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video, mm -hmm. which we know you will. Yeah. All right. And all our videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel. It doesn't mm -hmm. cost you anything. Uh, just subscribe uh, and then uh, that way when we have new videos in the future you'll automatically get an update from us when we release a new video yes. on what's going on so subscribe and then like the video um, we're kind of down to earth people we just kind of you know we, we're, we're people who are just new to being vegans and the recipes we know are kind of simple uh, we do some things from scratch uh, and then we do some things that are not sold from scratch because we know that some people just don't have all day in the kitchen every day to cook everything from scratch. So we've got some uh, items we're going to be trying out. Uh, we went to some places and found some vegan products and we're going to try those vegan products. We're going to experiment them with you, you know, and, and see uh, what we think they are, how they taste and whatever else. Uh, because we want to support the companies that are putting out vegan products 
And um, so here at Tony and D's, uh, we love y'all. And we are so grateful for you watching this video. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and you can get updates from us. Okay, we love you and thank you. Bye-bye.